Yo, what up guys, Bo here. There are so many good deals on Amazon at any given time, and I wanted to do a challenge where I pick out as many tech-related items as possible without going over 100 bucks. So let's take a look at all the things I picked up for just 100 bucks. Full disclosure, no one sent these products to me. I purchased everything myself and have zero affiliations with any of the brands. All right, first up is this wireless charger from none other than Anchor. It comes in this tiny little box and it's just a base and a micro USB cable. So you gotta pick up your own wall adapter. At only 17 bucks, it's one of the cheapest Qi certified wireless charger by a reputable brand out there that supports fast charging at a max of 10 watts. So if your phone supports Qi wireless charging, this is gonna get you covered. I mean, this thing is super thin and has a decent heft to it. It's got four anti-skid feet on the bottom and the top is coated with a slightly textured padding so your phone won't slide around. Other than that, it's no frills and if you're looking for a second charger for either your workplace or your nightstand, you can't beat this deal. Next up, I picked up this genuine Thunderbolt 3 cable from Belkin for just under $12. I mean, if you purchase Thunderbolt cables in the past, then you know how stupidly expensive they are. This one's about three feet long, but the caveat is that it's only 20 gigabits per second versus the full 40 gigabits per second that Thunderbolt 3 offers. If you want the full 40, you can opt for a shorter cable at about a one and a half feet. There are also longer cables around that provide the full 40 gigabits per second, like around six feet, but they're much more expensive at more than $50. When it comes to Thunderbolt cables, always go with a reputable brand and make sure that it's Thunderbolt certified as opposed to any cheap Chinese knockoffs because it can damage your computer. Okay, when I saw this deal, I just couldn't pass it up. It's a small portable Bluetooth speaker from Tribbit that I picked up for 35 bucks. But at the time of this video, it's even cheaper at $30. It's got pretty good bass, IPX7 waterproof, 24 hours of playtime, and a whopping 66 feet of range. A 12 watts is pretty good for its size. And because it has a built-in mic, you can even use this as a speakerphone for conference call at the beach, should you choose. It's shaped like a Beats pill, got a good heft to it. Buttons are nicely sized up top. On the back, you got an auxiliary jack and a micro USB for charging. And lastly, this dope lanyard, if you want to be the extra, extra cool guy or gal. But doesn't matter how good it looks, let's hear how it sounds. All right, let's turn up this puppy. This sounds a lot better than I thought it would. It's got a, it's got a nice deep bass in the middle, two tweeters on either side. For a small speaker, this kicks out a lot of sound and it sounds really good. This is a sunrise wake up alarm clock, which essentially tries to simulate the slow rising sunlight hitting your face and waking you up gently as opposed to the sun blaring alarm that snaps you back into reality of most alarm clocks. It's got FM radio, seven colors, six sounds, and 10 brightness levels. Clearly, this is a cheap knockoff of the Philips wake up alarm clock, which costs about four times as much. The first thing you're gonna notice as soon as you pick it up is how light it feels. I don't mean that in a good way. This is probably one of the cheapest feeling alarm clocks I've had, but who cares how it feels? Does it work? and does it work well. Let's hook this up to an external battery and turn it on. Oh, I like that. What happened? Is that working? I guess this last one just wants you to fall back asleep. The little stand that inserts directly into the bottom of the alarm clock is surprisingly all metal. So here are, well, so here are the various colors that I guess it goes through as it tries to slowly wake you up. For 25 bucks, it's questionable whether or not this is a good purchase, but I guess compared to the real deal, it's only about a quarter of the cost. So if you're on a tight budget, but still want that sunrise to gently wake you up, I give this a try. Last item on the list is an over-the-ear headphone that I picked up for just $16. But again, at the time of this video, they dropped it down to just $10. This all-black Bluetooth headphones by New Price. Out of the box, this looks pretty decent. Comes with a three and a half millimeter cable and a micro USB charging cable. So you can either plug into an external battery or your computer to charge, but no wall adapter. 
It says it's got 15 hours of music and 17 hours of talk time battery life, which is pretty decent, but I haven't tested it out for a full day. It's about as plastic as you can get, and it's also really light. So the one thing I'm not crazy about is when you when you're handling it, you can you can hear all the squeaky noise. But I mean, it seems pretty durable. The hinge here is made out of metal, at least what it looks like metal. I mean, the feel isn't as bad as you think for $16 headphone because, you know, it's got these memory protein earmuffs, <laughs> which really simulate human skin texture. It doesn't come with a case, but at least you're able to fold it and just drop it in your bag like so. Let's give it a listen. Wow, color me surprised. I was really expecting shitty sound quality considering the price point. It's lacking a bit on the low end, but it's clear even when increasing the volume. I don't really hear any distortion. Don't get me wrong, it, it, it looks cheap and it feels cheap and it is cheap, but it does sound better than the wired Apple earphone that comes with your iPhone. And to me, that's a win. All right, so to wrap things up, I've always wanted to do one of these Amazon challenges where I set a to total dollar amount and see how many decent things I can pick up without going, going over. I think I did pretty well for keeping my budget under $100. If you're interested in all the things I went over, I'll have a link down below if you wanna check it out for yourself. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos by dropping a comment down below and giving me a thumbs up. Make sure to also subscribe and get notified so when I drop a new video, you'll be the first one to know. This is Bo. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.